these are my top five picks for wines to try if you like the Cabernet Sauvignon grape variety. So let's start off by describing Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a black skinned grape that typically has high levels of acidity, high levels of tannin, showcases flavors of black currant, blackberry and dark fruit notes. It's often aged in oak, so we'll see flavors of vanilla, cedar, clove and coconut. And depending on where it's grown, we'll also see a little bit of a green characteristic. So maybe a green bell pepper in a cooler area and more like a sweet green herb such as mint in a warmer area. So let's explore the great varieties that are similar um, or comparable to Cabernet Sauvignon. Starting off with Cabernet Franc. Now, what you may not know about Cabernet Sauvignon is that it comes from two great varieties as its parents. So we have Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc. So therefore we have Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, because one of the parents for this great variety is Cabernet Franc, it shares a lot of the similar characteristics. We may find some of that same high levels of acidity and high levels of uh, tannin and a little bit of that green characteristic. Now for me, I love the Cabernet Francs being grown in the Okanagan. Let's give one a try. So having a smell, we get a little bit of that leafy characteristic, a bit of the green bell pepper, very typical of Cabernet Sauvignon, but here we're seeing it in Cabernet Franc. There's also some really nice oak notes of vanilla and clove. I find that the style of Cabernet Franc in the Okanagan is very much like that warm climate uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from California. So more on the fuller bodied, more darker fruit flavors, uh, but nice silky tannins. Next up, we have Merlot. Now Merlot is more of a comparable or a companion to Cabernet Sauvignon. So both of these grape varieties come from the Bordeaux region in France and are very commonly blended together. Here I've selected one from the Washington state. Washington makes exceptional Merlot. And you'll see by the name, the Velvet Devil, it typically has this very velvety and smooth characteristic. So while Cabernet Sauvignon can be very um, fresh and tannic, Merlot tends to be the softer side um, when it's blended together. So let's give this wine a taste. You can see that there are some similarities between Cabernet and Merlot. Uh, with the darker fruits, but this is much more plush and soft. That plummy note, the baking spice is really evident. The tannins tend to be a little bit smoother as well. So while it's not quite like Cabernet Sauvignon, you can see how it's a nice counterpart or that balancing point um, between the high tannins and those nice softer, smoother tannins. Malbec is another grape variety indigenous to France, but has found a home in Argentina. Here we have the high Andes mountains. And when we're in the elevation, the grapes that are grown there tend to retain a really nice high level of acidity. So if you like that refreshing characteristic of Cabernet Sauvignon, turn to Malbec in that high altitude, um, which has the refreshing acidity as well as those firm tannins. Let's give Malbec a taste. So again, on the nose, we have those darker fruits, more blackberry, a little bit of a blueberry note. On the palate, we are in that medium to full body range, typical of Cabernet, the darker fruits, a little hint of oak, but there is that nice um, refreshing acidity on the finish, um, comparable to Cabernet Sauvignon. Tempranillo is a great variety that we typically find in Spain. You may know it uh, from the Rioja region, but the one I've selected here is from Ribera del Duero. So a little bit further south from Rioja is the Ribera del Duero appellation where we're still working with the Tempranillo grape variety, but because we have a little bit more heat, um, the grapes are a little bit riper and we may be a little bit more uh, familiar with the fruit flavors coming from the Ribera region compared to Rioja. Now here we have different aging classifications Criantha, Reserva, and Gran Reserva, which tells you how much time the wine has been aged. Uh, and the kind of key tie factor here between Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, Tempranillo is this oak aging characteristic. So here we see the dark fruit flavors, maybe some drying tannins, but also the influence of oak. So let's try our Criantha from Ribera del Duero. So let's give this wine a taste. We have some of those nice dark fruit aromas, but I am picking up some really nice subtle notes of vanilla and clove. 
Typically in this region, we see a little bit more of the American oak, so there's also a little bit of coconut and dill notes as well. Very similar to Cabernet in that we have a nice full-bodied wine, dark fruit flavors, nice firm tannins. This is a great alternative. If you like Cabernet, give Tempranillo a try. Carmenier is the last grape variety that I've selected as something similar to Cabernet Sauvignon. This again is rich, full-bodied, and originates from the Bordeaux region, but it's found its home in Chile. Now this grape variety, a little bit more of the red fruits, but also very, um, very much that leafy tomato leaf characteristic uh, that can have that similar tie-in to Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's just dialed up quite a bit. So let's give this wine a taste. I like those bright red fruit notes, very leafy, herbal, quite rich and decadent. This is again, full bodied, nice firm tannins, uh, an excellent comparison to that intense green characteristic that we might find in Cabernet Sauvignon. So here we have five different grape varieties from all over the world that represent some similarities and maybe some um, nice comparable uh, characteristics to our top selling wine, Cabernet Sauvignon.